Hello, this is Ty, aka the Flip Man of How to Flip Houses .net. Real estate bird dog opportunities. I wanted to put together this quick video for students and non-students on training bird dogs for locating deals. If you're someone that wants to be a bird dog and that's your choice as far as how you want to get into real estate investing, then here you are. Bird dog. What is a bird dog? A bird dog is basically someone that locates a deal, negotiates the deal, and pass that deal along to either a wholesaler or an actual cash buyer for a fee. Normally that fee will range uh, from as low as $500, and it depending on if it's a commercial deal or a high-end deal as far as residential, it could be even $10,000. Generally speaking, I would say the normal fee is probably $1,000 for a referral. You get paid when the deal closes. So if it's a wholesale, wholesaler that you're dealing with, you get paid when the wholesaler gets paid or you get paid when the actual deal closes with the cash buyer. How do you bird dog? The first thing, the first criteria is locating off market real estate. And in this case, we're talking about houses. And what is off market? In my definition, it's a property, whenever you Google the address, it's not for sale anywhere online. Okay, so how do you find those type of properties? Now, one thing you can do that is advertised online and offline is, is houses that are for rent. Craigslist.com is a great place to search for for rent properties because a lot of times, a actual owner of a property they're renting the property out of this necessity not that they really want to they just don't want it to sit vacant and they think they can't sell the property for whatever reason but they may be very motivated which this word here motivated sellers is, just, is the key they may be very motivated to sell the property so you give them a call and you see a for rent sign or you're searching on craigslist you can go to the for rent sign for rentals apartments and houses on craigslist uh choose the housing for rents uh, such to eliminate the apartments that comes up as far as listings and you just send them an email or give them a call and ask, hey uh, is this property still available and yes or no you still want to pose them the question would I know you're trying to rent this property but would you be interested in selling and you go from there the other thing obviously for sale by owner not online but offline so if you're in a neighborhood or if you're just out searching you'll look for for sale by owners. If it has a realtor sign in the yard, that's different from for sale by owner. Most of the time, those signs will say for sale by owner. You call them up, find out what the details are. Now, just because a property is for sale doesn't make it a deal. Part of a bird dog, part of a real estate investor is understanding what's a deal and what's not a deal. It all starts with understanding what a property will appraise for in excellent condition. In the wholesale world, we call that ARV, which means after repair value. But what it simply means is what will the property appraise for in excellent condition. You first must know that. Once you determine that, and there are ways to do it, you can just go to YouTube and do a search how to calculate ARV or calculate ARV in 60 seconds. That's one of my videos that I have that, that are free. Uh, you, once you determine that, Generally, there's a formula that you can use. You can normally, a safe number is ARV times 65% minus repairs minus, we'll just say another $10,000. Now, that'll vary, but that'll at least give you a ballpark number to know if you need to waste your time with it or not. So, that's ARV, meaning what the property will appraise for in excellent condition, minus repairs, which I know a lot of times you won't know what the repairs are. Just throw in a number, 15000 20000 just throw in a number, minus $10,000. That wouldn't let you know if the price that the seller is giving you is a number that possibly can be worked with. Now, I know that's a little difficult and it's a little vague, but you, this is a crash course. So uh, the, the goal here is you must know what a deal is not. So a lot of times when you're dealing with a particular wholesaler, or a cash buyer they will let you know what their criteria is for a particular area so you just can simply ask well what will you pay for houses in this area or what would you pay for houses in that area 
Now, that, but there's plenty of content out there, even beyond what I offer on YouTube and other channels, on how to determine what's a deal and what's not a deal. But again, if all else fails, the person that you're dealing with, the wholesaler or the cash buyer, you can always ask them, well, what will you pay for this area or this zip code and so on. Okay, so you now have a deal. So once you refer your deal over to your wholesaler or to your cash buyer, you get paid when they get paid or when the deal actually closes. Most of these deals close within two to four weeks because you're dealing with cash and most of these transactions don't take long to close at all unless there's a title issue. So do the math. You may have five, six, seven, even 10 of these running in, in one month. So that could easily be anywhere from as low as maybe a $5,000 a month for you or it could be a ten or twenty thousand dollar month, or just bird dogging. I hope this video helps. Uh, you can pass this along to friends. Uh, tweet this. Uh, post it on Facebook. Real estate bird dog opportunities is, is real. It exists. A house may be next door to you, across the street, that's sitting there. That you just need to find out who owns, and you just simply pick up the phone and call them or send them a letter. Let them know that you're interested in buying or you have someone that would be interested in buying it. It could be that simple. A deal could just be right there in your everyday travels. Thanks. Uh, if you want to learn more just about wholesaling houses in general, howtoflipphouses.net.